Gary Stone here again for the long-awaited video of putting the cover on the R-Pod. Remember uh, just a few days ago I showed you one where we actually took the cover off of the R-Pod unassisted. And this one's going to show you how to put it back on unassisted. Okay? So, the first thing I'm going to point out here is this is the way we rolled it up when we took it off the R-Pod a couple of days ago. And I started at the front and rolled it up. So I know that this is the rear and the front part of it is rolled up inside. Okay, It's important to stay oriented on which end is the front, which end is the back, so that you don't end up putting it on backwards and then have to take it all down again and roll it up and start over again. Okay, So I know that this is the rear and now I'm using Susie's car here to lay the, lay the cover out so that I could prepare it to put it on. Okay, so first of all I start by just unrolling the entire thing on Susie's car. Now I'm going to start from the rear end of it here and roll it up a little bit to the middle. Right about there. Now I'm going to get the front end, which is at the front end of her car, and roll that up to the middle. Come on outside here. And I'm going to fold the whole thing in half. Now I have to remember that this is the front side and this is the back side. And I'm going to kind of turn it around, remembering that this is the front side. Okay? The front side's on top pick the whole thing up and now we're going to walk down to the art pod where I already have my ladder set up and the broom is in place. It's a little breezy today so I hope this doesn't get away from us. the back a little bit so that I have the vents that are on the uh, top edge of the cover are more or less centered over the door. Now 
I'll back up the ladder with my broom handle to push the rolled up edges on the street side over to the street side. Just enough so that I can reach it when I go over on that side with the ladder. Okay, that's good enough. I don't have to pull it all the way down. It'll mostly fall down by itself. I get this down here and we're pretty much home free. Okay now I'm just going to make some minor adjustments. The seams on the uh, cover should pretty much uh, run uh, parallel or, or right over, right over the top of the uh, of the uh, the seam on the R pod, just so that you know you've got it set properly. The classic accessories logo is right here, just about head level for me. I'm five nine, so that's just about where that should be. Now I'm going to go to the rear. I'm going to drape it over the wheel well. And then I can zip this up. Put the Velcro in. Zip this one up. Velcro. I don't have to zip it all the way down because I like to leave this corner exposed so that it's not digging into the material. This material is not the best. Uh, classic accessories uh, could have done a little bit better because after a couple of seasons out in the sun and the rain and the snow, this fabric here becomes kind of brittle and it tears easily. Uh, they replaced my last one at no charge, so good on them for doing that. Um, let's see if they're willing to replace the other, the second one that I got from them. But uh, they stood by their product and they replaced it when my first one got torn up. You know, just hardly even touching it and it would tear. The top, the white top, is real sturdy. I saved that and I use that for for other purposes. But uh, uh, we can get into all that later. Okay, so now I'm gonna look up here. 
checking out my vent up there. It should come down just a little bit, not too much. That's good enough right there. I just about got it laid out where I want it. Now we're going to go back over to the other side. And the last thing I do is put the, put the straps on and I just kind of roll the strap up in my hand. throw it under there and then I go back over to the other side and retrieve it and cinch it up and I do the same with the other one so that's it that took us about I don't know Eight minutes, maybe nine minutes, maybe ten minutes. Ten minutes, you eleven minutes. Subtract out the uh, talking that I did, and you can see that it's a pretty quick job, and that's how you do it, unassisted. Okay, so I'll get this posted, and you all go from there. Thanks, and have...